Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Mimeograph Monday with a twist. And I'm so excited that you're here. I'm using a brand new stamp set and I just got it. Um, in fact, I got it after my um, unboxing video. So, um, so I can't wait to play with it. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So today, when I say Mimeograph Monday with a twist, is basically um, a really fun series. I look through the catalog. Um, sometimes it could even be um, like an online flyer, but it's a current item and I make so I'm going to do two projects because I'll make how I think the card was made um, from the catalog and then I do a twist on it. And this has been so popular and I love to see everybody's remarks. And like I always say, it's not, I don't do this to be better than the catalog. It's just to put my own spin on it, my twist more to my taste because um, the catalog is loaded with so many ideas. So if you ever um, lose your mojo, as people say, just turn to the catalog and you will get lots of ideas there or simply my channel so if you subscribe to my channel then you'll never miss a video so I'm going to um, I think that's all I wanted to blab about today also don't forget tomorrow for my teach me Tuesdays I'm going to be doing the um, goodies in the guts so um, I showed you the guts last week so I'll actually um, be making them for you um, so that when if you earn them then you can go back to that video and you can make them along with me it's basically like a, a free class each month and I'll go over that um, tomorrow so don't miss my um, video tomorrow my teach me Tuesdays okay so I'm going to um, turn the phone so just close your eyes for a second I get adjusted okay that looks pretty good okie dokie so this is the card that I'm going to be doing today so you see I finally got my my little um, flags on my book all right so Kiwi Kiss or hello kiwi whatever um so i mentioned this stamp set the other day and how the first time i ever tried a kiwi and so it, this came um the next day after my unboxing so i'm going to do this card right here it is so cute so I have my recipe here. If you want the recipes, you can find them easily. They're on my blog. And if you just go to the top, you can see um, where it says um, current catalogs. So if you click on that, then it will open up and you'll be able to get the recipes as well. All right. So again, it's this card here. <clears throat> and here is the cute Hello Kiwi. It is so fun. I love the font. It has great greetings. I see myself using every single image of this because it's just so fun. I mean, it even has like a raspberry, a blackberry, um, whatever you want to call it. And it even has a splatter. And you know me in splatters. Oh my gosh. I love, and it's a nice big splatter too. So we're going to use that. All right. So let's get my pieces we're also going to be using the two inch circle punch so I have that ready all right so first off let's get our stamp and pierce mat because this is a photopolymer stamp set it's just going to make it a lot easier. Now, the recipe did say um, that they used the stays-on pad, but I'm not a big fan of using stays-on with the photopolymer. I remember years ago when we first got the photopolymer, um, you know, Stampin' Up! just kind of um, didn't suggest that we use the um, stays-on with it. Um, and if you do, you definitely want to wash them right away. So I'm just going to use the memento. I felt like, you know, I got just as good a um, image. It might not be as black, but I'm fine with it. All right. <clears throat> We're also going to use the lemon and lime twist. So one of the returning colors. All right. So we have, so here is what's going to be in the black. 
So you can see this one right here, I did stamp it in the stays on and even though it's clean, it stains it. So, and then this one, you know, I didn't use the stays on because I decided, you know what, I'm just not going to. Because sometimes also it makes it uh, <clears throat> sticky, you know, because the stays on pad just is like, it's just a kind of a stickier pad. Um, and then the photopolymer is sticky. So sometimes I will find that it will even tear the paper because you've got two things that are a little bit sticky. So I'm just using the memento. All right. But like I said, if you use the um, stays on, just wash it right away okay so let's see here we want to do our outside and i found it easier to do the outside first so i want one circle and then i want the um half the half one Okay. I also want, while I have my piece of paper here, I want to do the fun little hello as well. Okay. This also used that um, really fun, delightfully eclectic DSP that I was showing you the other day that has so many fun colors. And I'm so glad that it's... Um, it's just in the catalog. It's not necessarily um, hostess only. Because we've had some fun big packs of DSP in the past. And then they were hostess only, which was cool. But this way, anybody can get it. All right, so here we have the inside, the solid one, that's going to add the color in our kiwi. And I don't think there's a, a right way or a wrong way to do this. I just make sure my circle is in the center because it's not meant to be perfect and then we want this one for here and again I just kind of look at my edges so there we have our fun little kiwi I'm just going to close this for a second. All right, so now we have our circle punch. So just like the kiwi didn't, you know, stamp perfectly, um, this circle isn't perfect either. So it's going to be, um, it's going to catch it almost perfect, but it will miss a little bit. And then same with the half guy. So I just get as much as I can. And then all I have to do is use my snips on the top here. So we've got our two pieces of kiwi and then let's get our hello. And then we'll put this aside, this cardstock. So when I do my twist, I have some more ready available. All right, so we have our hello and I'm just fussy cutting it. It's pretty simple. Okay. Then let's bring our pieces over. So we are using Bubble Bath, one of the new um, colors that we have. I just love it. I need to order more of it because I see myself using this color a lot. Now the the um, recipe said this was a three inch square card, but I could not get the look of the catalog with a three inch square. So it's actually three and a half. Let me make sure. I always second guess myself. So I believe it is. Yeah, so three and a half is what made it be good for me. So it's actually three and a half by seven, you know, is your, you know, your unfolded piece. And then just score it at three and a half. And then you'll have your, your size. All right, so this is going to go on the inside, and I just cut a little stripe. And I don't think I'm looking at my the card I did ahead of time. <laughs> I don't think I did anything on the inside of this one. All right, so 
this is just going to put a little bit of color on the inside. And I don't know, I don't always put something on the inside of my catalog version, but I thought I would today because it's just a little card. All right, so we have our striped paper. So it's going to go along here. And then these are going to go along the edge. So let's put this on our card. And I love the back side of this. This is that one I'm going to struggle with. Which side do I use? All right. So we have, and this is some more of that paper. So I'm just going to stick this on here. And it's not on straight. It's just kind of cattywampus on there. Then we have this piece, again, just kind of, it's not perfect. And then we have this piece, this fun one with the diagonally things. And then this just goes in the center there. And then we are just simply going to attach our kiwi pieces. So I'm going to put, excuse my arm, I'm going to put the big one on with glue dots. So it's a little raised, but not as much. And we're just going to put him right there. Now, we're also using the glittery organdy. So I'm just going to tie right on the spool. And then you... Don't waste as much ribbon. This is such fun, sparkly ribbon. So just like you're tying your shoes, just tie a bow. Okay. And then that's going to go on here in a minute. All right. So then we have our half piece. Now the half piece I'm going to put on with dimensionals because I want it to um, stand out a little bit more than the full piece. Okay. And then that just goes on there like that. Now before we put this on because this is going to go on there too. I need to put some little seeds and they used the classic matte dots for the seeds. All right. So let me see how many do I want to put on here? I'm just going to put some big and some little. So one, two, Just kind of go around in a circle here. So you got some big ones and some little ones. And so I might be putting more, more than the original, but that's okay. And then just kind of smoosh them together. So isn't that cool with the seeds? All right, so let me get some more here. I want a couple big ones over here as well. All right, so we have another big one and a few more little ones. Oops, hang on a minute. My um, sticky stuff, I need to touch it. Oh, another day of, of flying embellishments. There we go. One and another big one. All right, cool. And I'm going to use the same embellishments on my twist card just because they're perfect little seeds. All right, so there we have our um, kiwis with their seeds on them. So let's bring our organdy ribbon over. And then we can fiddle fart around with our bow it looks good i'm going to attach this with a glue dot 
and then we're going to put our hello right over top of it. So what I want to do is I want to take a dimensional because that's what I want to stick my greeting to. And it will hold that ribbon down. So isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, so adorable. All right, so that is the catalog version. Let's put our inside and then we'll get to my twist. This was a fun card. Now I did um, change the size of the card. All right, there's the inside. But isn't that so adorable? Oh my gosh. I love it. And I would send it in here just because it's cheaper to send a regular envelope. This is a regular one because this is a square card. It costs more postage if you send a square card. So simply put it in a regular envelope and you'll be good to go. It is a little bulky. So just um, keep that in mind if you're not sure when you send, you know, kind of a bulky card. You've got ribbon. You've got your embellishments. You still may have to put um, extra postage on it. When you're not sure, simply go to the post office and they'll help you. All right. They have a handy little thing that they slide the card through that it tells about the thickness. All right. So let's bring, I need this again because we're going to do some more stamping. This time I made it be a full card. So these are all the pieces I have. And of course, we need to decorate our envelope. All right, so I made it a full card. I still picked bubblegum bath, or bubblegum bath. Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Bubble bath. I still picked the same DSP. I also, this time, wanted um, a different greeting, so I used my stylus shapes to cut out my um, greeting banner doohickey. All right, so let's see here. I stuck with the same color of the kiwi because I just love that um, lemon lime. So lemon lime might be taking over my parakeet party um, as my favorite, but I love them both because they're just such a bright, um, pretty green. All right, so let's bring my, <coughs> my memento over again. So this time, since I have a bigger card, I'm going to have there be three kiwis. So we're going to go two full kiwis. And one half kiwi. I'm also just going to cut them out instead of use the circle punch. Because they're easy enough to cut out. I mean, it's just a, a circle. You've got a nice solid black line there. All right, let's bring my happy birthday and then I can close my black pad. Where's my happy birthday? Here we go. So happy birthday fits perfect on that stylus shapes. So happy birthday. All right. Then let's do our lemon lime kiwi. All right, so same thing as I did before. Just, you know, get that circle in the center. And then this one by itself, like it, watch if I go like this. It almost looks like an orange, doesn't it? Like an orange slice. All right. But when you put it on here, you know, with all those, then it definitely <clears throat> turns it into a kiwi. All right, so let's see here. While I have, <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. All right, so hang on a minute. I want this white. I'm getting all my pieces out. All right, this is going to go on the inside. So you can see, I didn't choose this time, and I picked the flowers. And we're going to have the striped paper peeking out from behind. All right. Now it looks cute along the side, 
but the greeting I'm using is long, so um, I need to put it down on the bottom so I have room for my greeting. Because I changed, I put a greeting on the inside of this one. All right, so let me just trim these. And I stamped my greeting in the lemon lime on the inside. Isn't that so adorable? Oh my gosh, I want a top that looks like that. Okay, so now we're gonna put this on the inside. You hold the kiwi to my heart. That is such a cute saying. I don't know who came up with that saying. But it is adorable. All right, you hold the kiwi to my heart. And then let's put our card together. All right. So again, I made this a regular size card. So this is a standard card. Let's put this on the inside just to get it out of the way and so I don't forget about it. And so cute. All right. I'm like going, what did I have this for? Not for sure. All right. So I also chose the striped paper. I am going to back it with some white, but I'm gonna to wait to do that because I have my pieces here and I'm gonna put them off to the side and they're a little bit long and I'm gonna trim them the size of the striped paper. So I don't wanna glue it yet. All right, so these are gonna be kind of cattywampus like before, but they're off to the side a little bit. I'm also, instead of using that, um, diamondy excuse me that diamondy paper i want to use the cute little flowers so let's put this together so we're just going to stick these on like i said they're off i don't want them just down the center i want to have a little bit more off to the side so i'm going to do this one first hold on a minute so again they're just a little crooked they're not perfect And then our pretty flower one. And I know I'm being very wasteful with it right now. I could have cut them the right size, but I'm just being quick. Just drop them on there. All right, and then we'll trim. <clears throat> trim, trim, trim. This way, just use the striped paper is your guide and now we can stick it to the white that way we still have the nice white border around there and if i had glued it on here first it would have been harder to trim these and then they would have been trimmed out so they would have went out so just keep that in mind if you make this card all right then we can put this on the card and then we can put our kiwis on. Now, like I said, I'm gonna cut the kiwis with my scissors and give them more of an organic-y kind of look because this is not a perfect circle. So let me just get them out here, but it doesn't take long at all. We also need that. So I'm just going to trim and leave a little bit of a white border around. But see what I mean? They're not this perfect circle. So this just gives them more of a fun wiggly circle instead of that perfect punch circle. Will anyone notice? Maybe not. But it just makes them cute. All right. And then we'll do our half one and then we'll put our guard together. So I was so excited to hear from a few of you this weekend that, that you place your order, you're excited for your, um, your stuff to come in. Shipping is still a little slow. I apologize for that. Um, 
I mean, it's good that Stampin' Up! Is, is a strong company. We've got a lot of orders coming in, but still it can be a little frustrating if you need something. Um, if I need something, I usually do like the two-day. You can do overnight, two-day, or just regular postage. If you don't need it right away, just do the regular. Um, you know, shipping is enough already. But um, sometimes if I need something, like I needed my... Um, my first order so I could share with you in the video I did two day it so it costs um, a bit more but then I didn't have to wait all right so just keep that in mind all right so let's see here so I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before so I'm gonna put my kiwis on with the glue dots and let's see I want to put one there And here, I don't want to hide all that cute flower paper. So I'm going to kick it over there a little bit. And then this one I'll put on with the dimensionals like before. But I'm going to put my dimensionals on here instead. Okay. So... Like that. <clears throat> My throat. I don't know what's going on. All right. So we have our happy birthday. Now I'm going to put a happy birthday on here. And again, I'm going to put my dimensionals on the card. Let's see. So I could put another one. And I'm still going to use the same embellishments, but I'm not going to put them as... Um, seeds just because that would be too much all right so let's see if that's fairly straight it looks pretty straight okay so i've got a little see how it's right here but i don't want to put a dimensional because then it will be crooked so all i'm going to do is take my pick tool if you don't have a pick tool it's a must and i'm just going to pick up my happy birthday and put that under there and then that's just going to hold that from being all flyy and um you know keep it relatively the same thickness all right so let me dump all these out so i can get the ones i want here okay <clears throat> so i'm going to instead of using the seeds on you know in here like we did before which looked adorable on the smaller card like i said i don't want to have like a, a totally card with a whole bunch of seeds I'm just going to sprinkle them around the card so it's like the seeds are falling out or something so it looks it's still cute but it's not over seeded <laughs> all right so there is my twist card <clears throat> so let me bring the catalog one over all right so here's the catalog and the catalog version and my twist so it's basically the same card just bigger right it's like the mama card and the baby card i didn't put any ribbon on this one i could have but um you know i didn't i mean i guess i could have put one in there but um you know but I didn't. I wanted to change it a little bit. All right. So let me um, say, see you later, alligator. All right. Very, very good. So, um, like I said, don't miss my Teach Me Tuesdays. I think it's episode one seven. I don't know. I wrote it down. I know I lost my. So I'm not going to give in that because I don't want to say the wrong one. But make sure you join me tomorrow for my Teach Me Tuesdays. That'll be three o'clock Arizona time same time same channel and if there's ever anything now we have this brand new catalog if there's ever anything that you want me to um do from a mimeograph monday with a twist let me know and if i can i will um i don't own everything um but sometimes it seems like i do all right so i'm gonna stop blabbing have a great monday and i will see you tomorrow bye for now <laughs>